Yo, what's going on, guys? How you guys doing, man? I hope you guys had a good day today. I hope you guys are staying strong, and I hope that you guys are enjoying this journey. You know, I have a video for you guys that um, has to do with um, dealing with the low moments on this journey. You know, I wanted to talk about spiritual warfare a little bit. Today I woke up, you guys, and, you know, I didn't really get uh, the proper amount of sleep today. I think I got like five hours or something like that, and um, normally I'm okay, you know, with that, but for some reason today, bro, uh, like, the first half of the day I was getting spiritually attacked, you know? The enemy was putting in a lot of uh, dark thoughts into my mind, you know, self-doubts, and in different little situations to where, you know, I was just getting thrown off, you know? Uh, and it just made me realize, man, you know, God put it on my heart to, to make a video for you guys, bro. Um, if you guys, you know, going on semen retention is one thing. You know, if you guys are on semen retention, um, you're gonna be experiencing spiritual warfare, you know? Because you're giving up a sin, you know? You're willfully giving up one of the, one of the toughest sins to get over which is which is lust you know the enemy uses lust to get us uh into a low vibration and to get us into um into that mode where we're just constantly sinning you know and uh as soon as you give that up you guys and you end up on the other side you know and you're putting the holy spirit first uh you're gonna be getting attacked you know spiritual warfare and the signs of um Spiritual warfare, you guys, are just, if you're just, like, feeling off, you know, for no reason, you know, it's like you wake up and then all of a sudden you're just, you don't feel like yourself for some reason, you know, um, and a lot of the times, you guys, it's just, like, all of a sudden, you know, the analogy that I like to use is that it feels like you get hit in the face with a pie or something like that, or something weird happens to where, um, you know, it can happen through people, places, things, um, but it also just can generate in your own mind. You know, it's where you're just feeling off and you don't feel like yourself. You know, that's spiritual warfare, man. You're being spiritually attacked by the enemy, you know, because he wants, he doesn't want the warriors for for God to be around and be to be doing God's work, you know, and he especially doesn't want you to escape, you know, that prison that you were in. He doesn't want you to escape that lust you know, being that lust zombie and just being in that prison to where you're fapping all the time and doing all that stuff. So, you know, if you're on SR, that's one thing. You're going to be getting the spiritual warfare. But then is your, if you're also, you know, praying to God and putting God first and getting in the word, oh, yeah, you're going to be getting attacked um, even double time. And then if you're doing God's work, you know, maybe preaching or, or telling other people about God or semen retention, you're going to be getting, you know, you can be getting hit even harder. You know, that's how it is, bro. Because you got to think about it. You know, when you, you make that leap to the other side, it's like you're basically fighting. You're fighting for God. So you're essentially you're attacking the enemy, you know, by doing all this stuff. You're pretty much attacking them. So they're going to attack you back. You know, that's how it is, bro. That's, that's, that's what our existence is, man. Spiritual warfare. So um, a lot of the times... You guys, you can tell if it's a spiritual attack, if, you know, you're having feelings of, like, self-doubt, low self-esteem, like, you're feeling self-conscious. Like, today, I was feeling, like, self-conscious, you know, for some reason. I was looking in the mirror, and I, like, didn't like, uh, just silly stuff. This is how I knew it was a spiritual attack. I didn't like the length of my beard or something like that, and then I was looking at one of my tattoos, and I was, like, you know thinking about potentially removing it and you know and a couple a couple hours passed and I realized like how silly I was being you know I was just in my head about like the way I looked and that's how you know it's the enemy that's like that 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 is living in the flesh when you're worried about you know how you look and stuff like that the bible tells us not to worry about that stuff it tells us to not worry about you know how you how you look and you know your appearance and things like that because you're living in the flesh at that point, you know? So that's how it is, man. That's 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 the uh, the petty-ass shit that, you know, the enemy is, is going to do to us, you know? 
lies, deceit, schemes, you know, that are that are set up against you from potentially other people, those are also spiritual attacks, you know. All of a sudden it's like one of your friends or whoever, man, you know, maybe a roommate or a coworker or something like that. Somebody that you see all the time is just like, you know, in your face and, you know, talking shit to you or whatever, you know, just random, you know, that's another spiritual attack. And then but most of it you guys just resides in your own mind, you know. A lot of the spiritual warfare just resides in your mind and your thoughts and bad thoughts and stuff like that. So we got to be careful, you guys. I got some scriptures that I wanted to read here uh, that I picked out, you know, that are about spiritual warfare. And I'm going to um, break it down a little bit. So uh, this one is um, of 1 Peter 5, verse 8. It says, Be alert and of sober mind. The enemy, be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. All right, so God's basically telling us, you guys, that we need to be alert and we have to be of sober mind. You know, if anyone is, you know, curious about whether or not it's, you know, they're trying to be a man of God and they're still like smoking weed, uh, drinking alcohol at time or other drugs or whatever, that's not, you know, what God suggests. It, it op That opens windows for demons and for demonic attacks to be going on. You know, you open windows when you're not of sober mind. When you're sober, you have that strong connection to God and you're able to, um, you know, get that connection going stronger. You guys, it's like when you're smoking weed and you're drinking like that, it, 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 it shuts off the connection to God and it makes you vulnerable, you know, to other attacks. So you're, you're opening windows at that point, all right? So, God says, you know, for spiritual warfare, he wants us to be sober, you know, sober minded. Uh, it says, yeah, the, the enemy, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So he's literally, you know, going all over the place, just looking for whoever he, you know, looking for anyone that's vulnerable to attack. All right, guys. Uh, James 1 verse 13 says, when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me for God cannot be tempted by evil nor does he tempt anyone so you guys if you're being tempted to sin and any of this kind of stuff uh, that's how you know it's another spiritual attack all right you know that it's the the devil you know if you get urges you know urges to fap that that's a that's a demonic stronghold you guys if you get urges to sin you know whatever it is use substances um, you get urged to um, yeah fap have casual sex with a girl maybe go gambling or anything you know that you know is wrong you know that's a that's a stronghold you know and that's that is from the enemy you know god's not going to tempt you it says right here in the scripture god uh god cannot be tempted by evil nor will he tempt anyone so anytime you're feeling like that you know you're under spiritual attack all right guys galatians 5 verse 17 for the flesh sets its desire against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh for these are in opposition to one another, so that you may not do the things that you please. So that's basically it, you guys. Like, when you're living in your flesh, you know, that's essentially how the devil wants you to be living. You know, when you're living carnally and you're, and you're taking part in all these things, like I just mentioned, you're giving into those strongholds and you're giving into the urges and you're living in sin. Uh, that's, that's how you're living in your flesh. And that's how, that's how they win the spiritual warfare. That's essentially what they want you to be doing. You know, they want you to be sinning and to be living in the flesh, right? They don't want you to be living in the spirit. So uh, when they get you in that corner, you know, that's basically where, where they want you to be. So, um, you know, they're going to let you, they're going to let you chill. They're going to let you be living like that for a while. You know, when you're living like that, you're going to feel comfortable. You know, the devil doesn't really attack you when he's got you where he wants you you guys smoking weed every day drinking smashing girls all the time fapping on the websites that's that's how he wants you to be living you know so you're going to be feeling comfortable in that moment because you're living in the flesh you know you're not living in the spirit so all right guys uh two corinthians it says the weapons that we fight with are not the weapons of this world on the contrary they have divine power to demolish strongholds. So, you guys, the weapons that we need to use in this spiritual warfare with all this stuff I'm talking about, it says the weapons that we use are not of this world. You know, we need to use uh, 
the armor of God, right? That's what the Bible tells us to use, you know, to fight against all this stuff. Uh, there's all different um, terms for it, but uh, all I know is the weapon that we have, you guys, is the sword of the Spirit, you know, and that's, that is the Word of God. So anytime that you guys are feeling like you're being spiritually attacked or you feel like a stronghold or an urge or whatever it is, you know, you're feeling like in a funk, you know, like I described this morning, um, the best thing for you to do is to get into the Word. You know, get on YouTube and maybe watch some videos about some scripture, um, an audiobook, or, or just, you know, get your Bible out and start reading your Bible. You know, that's our weapon. You know, against, against spiritual warfare, our weapon is to read the Word. All right, guys? So that is always the answer. You know, no matter how you feel, if you just feel like, you know, you can't even go on, the thing that's going to get you out of that, you guys, is opening your Bible. You know, uh, you can do it real easily, man, on YouTube. You can just start listening to verses and, um, you know, they'll read it for you. You know, how easy is that? And then I guarantee you're going to notice yourself uh, having a weight lifted off of you, you know, because you can remove those strongholds. You can remove um, a demonic attack, you know, just by reading the word. All right, guys. One John book four, verse four. It says, um, you, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. So this is the one that I wanted to end with, you guys. So all this stuff that I'm talking about, at the end of the day, you know, we have the victory, you know, in God. Jesus and with God, we always have the victory over this stuff. So we have to keep that always in the back of our mind, you know, when we're getting attacked and we're having spiritual warfare. Uh, we need to realize that we already have the victory, you know. So it just takes effort on our part. You know, we got to put in the work. You know, when you're feeling super down, like I said, start getting into the scriptures, praying, you know, potentially even, you know, if you need to uh, fast for a couple days, you know, you could do that as well. But you have to tap in with God. You have to put in the work on the other side. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're participating in sin or you have the strongholds or you have urges or, you know, you have bad thoughts, feelings of self-doubt, low self-esteem, self-conscious. Uh, you're just feeling like shit, bro. You know, that's the moment where you have to go to God. You know, you got to get into your Bible, read your scriptures, say some prayers, you know. Do whatever it is that you need to do, you know. But you got to realize that we have the victory, you know. It's just sometimes you have to put in the work. It's like, but if you do put in the work, it's pretty much a guarantee that you're going to end up feeling better. You know, God's going to remove... The demonic spirits and the attack from um, your life whatever it is you're going through in that moment God's gonna remove it for you guys so that that's my video for you guys bro hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that I was just thinking about you know today I was going through it man you know spiritual attacks and spiritual warfare and I haven't made a video on this in a while so just wanted to uh, remind you guys that that is uh, you know what we're going through you know when you're feeling strange and um, you know, on your semen retention journey or, you know, spiritual pathway, you're putting God first. That's why you're going to be having these rough days and you're going to be feeling attacked, you know, out of nowhere. It's the enemy, you guys. It's the devil coming in and trying to steal your joy and your peace because he knows that you're, you know, on a trajectory with God and, and you're becoming a threat, you know. So he's pissed off and he wants to take you out, you know. So that's, how, that's what it is, guys. But you got to remember, we always have the victory. We always have the victory. You just got to put in that work. All right, guys. That is my message for you guys today. Hopefully, you guys learned something from this today, bro. And uh, obviously, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff, man. Leave a comment and let me know uh, if you guys uh, like the video. And if you have any um, experience in, in all this, feel free to comment and let me know what's going on, guys. You know, we can chop it up. So, much love, you guys. And I'll talk to you guys um, next time. All right, bye. Have a good one.